And here we are. With with an unfortunate cursor that's in my in my way. Get out of here. Stupid cursor. I'll be right back. That's better. All right. Now, how about that uh, cutscene, huh? That was freaking amazing. Kyle Katan is like the he's like the Chuck Norris of Jedi, I'd say. He's just so awesome. He's got a beard. Now look at this. We know this guy. It's the Moisture Farmer from Star Wars Droid Works. Actually, he was in this game first, because this game came out a year or two before that one. So he was actually in here first. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Now, since we're going to be a Dark Jedi, that means that uh, <laughs> in order for us to be bad, we've basically got to be just baby-eatingly evil. Just, mwahahaha, mwah, I've got no reason to kill you, but I'm going to kill you. Ha ha, ha, take that just for standing there. Ha, I hate you. <laughs> and yeah, that's how you gain dark side points. By, uh, just killing civilians. For no reason. Absolutely no reason. You can kill as many of these guys if you, as you want. The game doesn't care about that. But killing people like this... Oh. There, that's a no-no. Yeah, that's, that's going too far. But co committing some kind of genocide against this three-eyed race, whatever... Oh, they disappeared. Okay. Those things. Killing those things in mass, no problem at all. Killing any anyone that's just standing around, nope, that's too much. So, we know what to do now. I'm pretty sure that shooting signs isn't actually... Oh, I just punched out a neon sign. Ouch. Wow, oh, he really is a badass. Look at this guy. It's ironic because actually these guys with fists are in some ways more dangerous than the guys with the guns. Because they'll punch right through your shields. But, uh... If they've got a gun, they have to get through your shield before they can actually hurt you. Kind of ironic. Oh, he dropped, but I really wanted his gun. Oh, well, I'll get it later. I wish I could get these, uh... What are those things? Are Roidians or... Rhodians? Whatever. I wish I could get their sweet green pistols, but we can't. All we got is this thing. But this thing's great for, uh, sniping, hitting precisely. Hmm. Actually, I might be forgetting something here. And here we are. Now, this isn't going to be a 100% secrets run or anything like that, because I don't actually know where everything is. Just things, I might do a little bit of exploring. If I find something like this, I'll just go ahead and do it. Why not? I'm not going to be too anal about this. This is just showing off what it's like to be a Dark Jedi, that's all. But it should be fun along the way, at least that's my hope. I'll take all that stuff. This is back when uh, games had pick up healing and all that stuff. Good, good old days, the good old... Oh, I wanted to stay up there, thank you. Stupid elevator. Yeah, before you, everyone had to duck behind cover. Yep. Kyle Katan doesn't do any friggin' ducking behind cover. Hell no. This guy's like... Uh, I'm going the wrong direction. This guy's like... Just badass incarnate. It's awesome. You'll see what I mean later on. And it's kind of funny when he's evil too. Okay, here's another poor civilian that did nothing to us, but... We want to be evil, so we gotta... Boom. <laughs> no reason. Just, just because. Which is funny, because we just saw that video where his father's like, Oh, I wish you knew how very proud I was of you. And then he had kind of an emotional little moment where he kind of bit his lip. And it was very sentimental. And then he, <laughs> and then he just goes and just randomly kills people in just a few minutes later. So, <laughs> oh well. It is kind of cool that it gives you that choice, I guess. Even though it is completely silly. Oh well. Just adds a little more depth to the game, I guess. Well, in a way. You know, it's uh... The depth of a puddle, but... I guess every little bit counts, right? Sometimes we'll actually drop stuff, which is funny, because it's like the game wanted to reward us for doing that. If I don't fall on the ground here. Now one thing on uh 
Oh, I better do a quick save if I can find the button for it. Come on. Okay, it's F9. All right. This game has just a hell of a lot of keys. It's kind of weird. It takes a long time to get used to any of that kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. The, this game actually has some boss fights, which we'll encounter later on. And, uh... I'm a little nervous about how well I'll do on those, because... Historically, as a kid, I didn't do too well. In fact, I don't think I ever was able to beat this this playthrough as a as an evil Jedi. Because uh, light Jedi and dark Jedi start to have different powers later on. We're not even a Jedi yet. That comes after a few more levels. But uh, at the, at the moment, we're just uh, just a guy with a gun, a badass with a gun. I might add. Oh look, it's it's one of those stupid gonk droids from Dark Forces. Dark Forces? No, no, no. From Droidworks. This is Dark Forces. Look at this guy. You silly guy. You you, you, may, you opened the door to let the assassin droid come after us, and I'm, I'm angry at you for that. Die! Yeah. There's my revenge. Open the door without warning us, and all of a sudden the assassin droid comes after us. What a tool. I like how the buttons actually look like they're not for human hands. That's a nice switch. Not like in uh, the Phantom Menace where everything is made for a hand with five fingers. Alright. Forgot that I was coming down here. Got here. Now, this game can be kind of tough to get working on newer computers. I know I had a hell of a time being able to get it to be recorded and work semi-okay. Semi but thankfully, I did. Oops, I did discover a way. Okay, I, did, I wasn't able to get that. Uh, where am I going? Up here. All right. And there's that. Okay, now we can move on. This level, uh, these first levels aren't really that long, but it's kind of deceptive. I recall it from my memory. It didn't seem that. Oh, come here! Don't run away. We're trying to get it. Dark points, buddy. Work with us. That thing's probably gonna... Yeah. Ah. <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Come on. Come down. There we go. Oh, right. The levels are... A little longer in some senses than I recall them being as a kid. That's just based on a little... A few test runs I did to see if the recording equipment was working correctly. The recording programs, rather. And, uh... Oddly, this level is a lot longer than I recalled it being. So... these This game sure did have a lot of sprawling levels, and that's good and bad. There's a chance that I'll get lost, or... I'll die. <laughs> And if that happens, if there's too much fail, I'll just be cutting out the repetition, because no one wants to see that. This isn't 100% run anyway, so it doesn't matter if, you, if a little bit is cut out. I like to try and keep the cutting to minimum, though. Alright. Now, this game came out in 1997, and... Graphically, I, I don't know. I, I want to say that it's not not at all bad for the time. I mean, compare this to like Final Fantasy VII, which I believe came out at the same time. The the most models are better than Final Fantasy VII, but I mean, it can't compare to the arena models, right? Yeah, we just killed a woman and this poor little R2 unit aww I guess it's actually an R5 unit because it's got three eyes and it's red those are R5's yeah <laughs> it's funny we, we never died like oh he disappeared oh jeez where the hell did he go he, went, he, he became one with the force apparently he just disappeared 